welcome to my video review. Today I'm going to be reviewing these generic gesture control headphones. Um, these are not actually Bluetooth, so I just want to point that out right up front because I thought for some reason that they were going to be Bluetooth. So you do have a jack on the end that's going to go ahead and plug into your phone or tablet. Um, let's go over what's in the box first. So it does come with a really nice uh, magnetic closure box. And when you open it up, you're going to find the headphones are located right in here. And then on this side is where you're going to have your power cord for it, as well as this nice little carrying pouch that they provide you. It has a drawstring on it. And then an assortment of different sizes of the earbuds, as well as your instruction guide, which I'm going to get to that in just a little bit. Not a fan of the user guide. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at these headphones here. So, starting at the bottom, again, we have our power cord. You have uh, this little box, which is where you are going to go ahead and charge it, right in that port right there. You have a light that is across the top, and when you're charging it, it stays red until it's fully charged, and then the light goes ahead and turns itself off. When the battery's low, that light is going to flash red to indicate. And when it's fully charged and you turn it on, it turns blue, just like that. If we go a little further up on it, you have a, another control box. And up at the top, you have your volume up. In the middle, you have your mute button, um, or pause, I guess we should call it. And then at the very bottom, you have the volume down. So as you can see from that box, you have your two wires coming out of it, which lead to the actual earbuds. This isn't something you can separate any further. That's the furthest distance that you can get them. And then each one of the earbuds is labeled left and right so you know which one goes in which ear. So the whole idea behind these is that instead of using your phone or any of the buttons that would normally be on earbuds or your phones, is you're actually using gestures. So they say to have your palm one centimeter away and then you hold it or move it for one second or two seconds, depending on what it is you want to do. So let's go ahead and give these a try. I'm going to go ahead and plug it into my phone. And let's go ahead and make sure I'm getting these in the right ear. Now I did go ahead and switch out to the smaller um, earbuds because the medium ones were just a little bit too big for me. So you can see I have them in. Um, just me putting them in went ahead and started my music which you can see right here on my phone and for some reason the song just restarted and I didn't do anything so let's go ahead and try the gestures out so we're gonna do one second it started the song over again let's do two seconds it started the song over again it started the song over again Let's do this side. Okay, it went ahead and switched the song. Let's hold it for two seconds. It switched the song. It switched the song. And it switched the song. So let's show you this. If I go ahead and turn my head around, a lot of times I also get the same gestures happening. So there it just paused the song and it's playing again. No, it just stopped. So I'm not gesturing anything. It's just kind of doing it on its own. I've also discovered moving the phone around too much will also do that. So that's been kind of a hit and miss thing for me on that. Um, they also say that if you have long hair or something, and this is the big problem I've had because I have always tucking my hair behind the ears, I'm doing that gesture and that a lot of times is actually going ahead and either changing the song or it's pausing it on there too. So it's got a lot of things that need to be worked out on it. Um, okay, that just changed the song, it paused it, and then it moved to a different song and it's playing that song. So obviously there's some work that needs to be done on that. Let's go ahead and read the user manual. So this is where it gets really hard to follow. Number one, when power on, 
both of press key operation and non-touch manual control are okay. When power off, only press key operation. Okay, let's go to the other side. When your palm approaches earphone one centimeter and stays one second, perform pause or play music or pick up your phone, whatever is your left or right hand palm, the same operation. Number two, when your palm approaches earphone one centimeter and stays two seconds, if right palm performs, music player of cell phone will play next song. If left hand performs, um, I think they meant music, but it's M-U-S-C, player of cell phone will play previous song. When incoming call, palm performs earphone one centimeter scope range and stays one second at the time palm can pick up. After calling is over, palm approaches earphone one centimeter scope range and stays one second at the time palm can hand off. When pausing the music, palm approaches earphones one centimeter scope in one second, start playing the music. When playing the music, palm approaches earphone one scope in one second, start playing the music. When playing the music, palm approaches left earphone one scope in two seconds, performs the next song. Okay, I'm not going to keep going. Um, they do have a handwritten note on here that says, don't let hair or other stuff cover your phone, otherwise gesture function will lose. Okay, done with that. So as you can see, they have a lot of work that needs to be done on these. I think when they get the technology down better, this is going to be a pretty cool idea. Um, I'm doing a video review on these, so these were sent to me by the seller. I didn't pay for them. Would I have spent $70 on these? No, especially with them not being Bluetooth. Um, I would expect for that kind of money, they would at least be Bluetooth. So that is my experience with them. Um, you might have a totally different experience, but that's what I've experienced. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful.